when we asked consumers, you know, what are the popular trends in 2022 in digital world, AI by far leads the way by 74%. You know, the majority really thinks about it. The VR and metaverse got much uh, slower mentions. And again, these are open text conversations. So we literally left the floor uh, to the consumers to talk about the themes and trends. But interestingly, when they talked about metaverse and VR, we also saw some unprompted comments around Web3, crypto, NFTs, and blockchain, which are still smaller than the, you know, broader AI conversation. But again, it was interesting to see how Metaverse was uh, bundled up together almost uh, with other concepts. So, uh, Christina, I think it would be interesting to hear your opinion on why this could be the case. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, lots of people get really confused about like different technology trends. And there is a very popular theory about the seven different layers of the Metaverse. It's like a pyramid. All the way from the bottom is talking about technology infrastructure. So that's anything which will power the whole connectivity of the metaverse ecosystem. That's mainly like telecommunication infrastructure. So we're talking about 5G, 6G, semiconductor chips, high performance like GPUs, etc. And then on top of that, you start looking at once you have this connectivity to allow people to interact with each other immersively, how you design the human, you know, computer user interface. And then you start to have mixed reality virtual reality, augmented reality, and even brain-computer interface, like Elon Musk has been doing about all these kind of chips into the brain, etc. And of course, you have haptics, wearables, you know, all these kind of things, hearing aids. There's a lot of discussion about decentralization because, you know, consumers increasingly aware of their, you know, data privacy, data security, and, you know, all these kind of security-related issues. They want control of their own data. So that's where a lot of the Web3 blockchain NFT coming into place because they can really allow the end user to have control of their own data, privacy, etc. And then you start to move into the whole creative economy where you have a lot of creative players like artists, you know, musicians, sculptures, etc. using immersive technology to create their artistic e- expression in the virtual world and allow it to be accessed like globally. And then you start to looking at how you can use different technologies to fast track the creation of 3D objects, 3D image, 3D avatars, 3D environments. And also another really important part of metaverse is the whole idea about digital twin, how you create the virtual replica in a controlled safe environment to allow advanced manufacturing, healthcare, aerospace, defense, like many different industries to test, you know, if the product works well. So there's lots of things going on. 